And breaking news here tonight at 10, the Bengals game is suspended after a Bills player collapsed on the field. It was supposed to be, if not the biggest, one of the biggest Monday Night Football games of the year, but it has been overshadowed by an early game injury. The Bills at Bengals game came to a halt when Buffalo cornerback DeMar Hamlin collapsed during the first quarter. And sports director Jack Pohl is here now live with what we know. Well, Brooke, John, the Bengals were leading the Bills 7-3 to about midway through the first quarter when Bills cornerback DeMar Hamlin fell to the field after trying to get up from a collision with Bengals wide receiver T. Higgins. Medical personnel worked on Hamlin for several minutes. ESPN then reported that CPR was administered on the field. Players were visibly shaken on both teams, with some players even seen crying on the sideline. Bengals head coach Zach Taylor and Bills head coach Sean McDermott then met with NFL officials, with both teams then exiting the field to their locker rooms, where they have been ever since. Hamlin was taken to the UC Medical Center nearby. ESPN is reporting the game is, quote, temporarily suspended, but that has now been updated. The later it gets, the possibility of this game continuing is slim to none. This is obviously a tragic night, with everyone much more concerned about the health of DeMar Hamlin than the game itself. Yeah, Jack, that is right. They are concerned about his health. We're waiting for news on that. Is there any indication on whether the game will resume tonight? Do we have any new information on that? Actually, we do. It's nothing official just yet. However, ESPN has shown footage of the Buffalo Bills actually packing up their gear on the sideline, an obvious indication that this game will be over for the night. However, we're still waiting on official word from the National Football League. Our very own Joey DeBerardino is down at Paycor Stadium for us tonight. The Bengals organization has also been tweeting updates. We'll let you more as soon as we know more coming up here on 2 News. All right, thank you, Jack. We'll continue to follow that on air as well as online and on the 2 News app.